Hi, my name's Mitz. Um, I'm going to show you how to burn a DVD uh, with Nero, and I'm going to put, um, I'm going to back up my files that I want from my computer, just like music files and stuff like that, or photos. Uh, so what I want to do is um, insert a blank DVD into my DVD burner. So once I've done that, a box usually comes up and it gives me a choice. What do I want to do with this blank CD? Um, well, at the moment, I want to do nothing. So I'm just going to um, say, take no action. Okay. Now, what I want to do is open up Nero. So I'm going to open up the program. Uh, whether you've got an icon on your desktop, you can double click on that. Or you can go to programs, uh, go to start program files and then you'll find all your programs in there. Okay, so what we're going to do, once we've got Nero open, we go along here and we press on data right? and then we want to make a DVD, a data DVD. Press on that. Okay, so what we've got is uh, a choice comes up and it says do you want a data CD or a data DVD? Now I'll just choose the DVD and now this is our um, Nero Express opens up and this is where we can add files so what we're going to do is go over to the side here and press add and then a box comes up and it lets us browse through our computer and pick which files we like okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, pick some files but I want to pick more than one at a time so I'm going to hold the control button down and just pick some. Okay, so I'll just pick a few that I want and um, just holding that control button down. And if I don't, if I've picked something that I don't want, I'll just click on it again and it'll be um, unselected. Okay, so I'll just go along and pick a few. And now I'm going to go down the bottom bring that down here and I'm going to press add and that'll add the files over to my list of files that I want to um, actually burn onto the disk okay and it comes up with a little progress bar right okay so it's added the files here for me there we go the ones I put on there and down the bottom here it shows me how much room I've used now I can go up to about 4,500 megabyte with a DVD. If I was burning it onto a CD, it would be more like 700 down here. So there's a big difference. Alright, um, now we'll go and add a few more files. So we're just going to press on add again. And here we go, add more files and we'll just browse around. You can just press this button here to go up or you can also press this little arrow here to choose where you want to go like if I want to go to C, Documents and Settings and then choose my username. Okay, yep, I've already got those ones. I'll go back again, go to something else. Right. And I'll take a few things out of here, so we'll just press the control button down. Okay. And take a few things. Take a few more. There's lots in here. Yep. Okay, that'll do now. I'm just gonna press um oh, a couple more maybe. and press add. Now it's going to add all the files. Now it says um, do you want to replace some of these things? I'm just going to say yes because some of them are copies and some of them aren't. Okay so that's done. So I've finished adding files. I haven't actually filled the disk but now I'm going to go and I'm going to press next. Okay and uh, and here it is here, it's found my DVD reader, okay, um, and here's a couple of options here. I'm going to allow files to be added later. 
because I've only um, half filled the disc so I can come back and put a few more things on there so we're not going to waste the disc okay so now I'm going to press burn and now there we go okay so after it's finished it comes up and gives you an option whether you want to have a new project and all that jazz but I don't I'm just going to close it so I'm going to press the cross okay and um, what happens is um, I inserted the disc again and I've got it on um, autoplay so it came up with a choice of what I want to do with it now I would like to open the folder or the files to see if my files got on that CD so here we go so what I can do is just quickly check to make sure everything's on there okay go around yep everything looks good to me um, that way you know it's backed up and it's safe yep it's all there yep and you can just um, change your view to thumbnails so we can actually see a few pictures just to make sure yep looks good okay Go back. Yep, looks pretty good. So it, so that's just to double check whether everything's worked or not. It looks pretty good to me. Um, all right, thanks for watching.